What is up everyone, it's Chris, and I wanna to talk to you guys today about a LEGO Star Wars set that I think needs to be made. 2025 is going to be the 20 year anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, and it's a perfect opportunity for LEGO to go big, to go bold, to go over the top, and give us a UCS, MBS, combination of both, Jedi Temple. This set would absolutely blow the minds of fans. It would go crazy. What I have envisioned, I know we can get a one of the display sets like they did for Hogwarts Castle this past year, which was an awesome set. They could do that, and I would be ecstatic. But we're talking about an elite, over-the-top, big, bold, like the ultimate, perfect like Lego release. Now, what I have envisioned for what I would do for this set would be a boatload of minifigures. As we saw from the Avengers Tower this last year, when they loaded up with 31 of them, they can easily do that for Star Wars. It's been a while since we had one of these MBS, UCS sets have a ton. The past few years, we've only had... I want to say two in most of them besides the Cantina, which came out now, I think, going on four years now, but came out in 2020. So it's been a while since we had a ton of minifigures. So I think this would be a perfect opportunity to get back into that. And I would have somewhere maybe like between 20 and 30, you could have the entire Jedi Council. You could throw in Padme, you could throw in 3PO, R2. We could do Gunji and we can do Reva, two characters that we have names we've seen multiple times throughout Star Wars. Reva in the Obi-Wan series, we saw her as a youngling. And Gunji, we've seen in the Clone Wars in the arc with the younglings, with Ahsoka, and then you had Hondo and, and all that great arc. Recommend to go watch it. And then Reva, we had in the Kenobi series. We had the flashback, her Order 66, all of that. So right there, that's two. You can throw in Grogu, obviously, because who wouldn't love Grogu? Um, off the top of my head, you can throw in a few clones as well. Uh, Jedi Council, obviously. There's so many. Ahsoka. There's just so many characters you can throw in there. And there's an opportunity to make so many unique and exclusive ones for this set. It, it would be crazy. That many. This would already, that alone would be a day one release. He's going to tell me 27 minifigures and Jedi Temple. I'm out there. Five in the morning. However early I need to be to lock my place to get that set. Now I'm making such a big fuss about how many minifigures there are because I feel that in recent big price, high price sets, Lego Star Wars hasn't really had too many. I know we've had the two figures and all that, but when you look at right over to Marvel, uh, Lord of the Rings, those high price sets, they got a boatload of minifigures and I would love to see that come back in Star Wars with a MBS type set when we get a ton that you pay that five, $600 for and you get 15, 20, it would be awesome, and I, it's just long overdue, simply put. Now, when it comes to the size of the set, I'm not exactly sure how that would be. Obviously, it, I don't think it could include every single room, but I think, you know, three, four, maybe five rooms, you have two layers to it, so you have, like, an upstairs and a downstairs, so two levels would be would be ideal. This is just all in my head. I don't really know how they do it because got to keep it within a certain price range and then have to keep it within a certain size. So with all that uh, included in my head, I'm kind of just visualizing a few rooms with some detail be nice. With that set, we have to talk about the promo that I would hope would be included with it. And those two promos are Captain Rex's blasters and the Darksaber hilt. And I think that Captain Rex's blasters would look absolutely stellar. You put them on a nice stand and you have them in that X formation that we see, and then for the Darksaber Hill, it would go great because it connects the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars as well. So it's a little two for one deal, and who, who doesn't like two for one deal? So I think that would absolutely, either one of those promos would kill. And you know what? Let's throw a third one in, the, in, in there. Gunji's lightsaber help because why not? Any three of those I think would be crazy. And right in front of me here, we have two great promos from May the 4th. We have the Death Star, we have the Lars Family Homestead, which fantastic promos. So Lego, they need to be looking and saying, okay, how can we go over the top with these promos for this Jedi Temple? And I think you take inspiration from right here and just the recent years and boom, they will knock it out of the park. I 99.9, no, I'm 100% confident that they will. And I just really hope this set is going to be happening in the near future. It would be a dream come true for me. I, I think I'd cry tears of joy, to be honest with you. But let me know, would you guys love to see a UCS Jedi Temple in the near future? 
And what would your dream Lego Star Wars release be? And what the promo would be as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.